Um, first of all, thank you for invi inviting me here. Uh, I come from an organization uh, called BREED, which deals with uh, workers' rights, collaboration with trade unions, and just in creating a social chain, trying to you know make some sort of political platforms. Um, I am basically a field organizer, which means uh, I work, um, you know, like campaigns, uh, actions, uh, stuff like that. So I'm not used to this kind of format. So excuse me if I'm uh, a bit unstructured. I hope that we'll, you know, <laughs> we'll have a chance in, during the discussion to talk about this issue. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak from my experience as, as, uh, as, a, as, a, as a field organizer in the way that. Uh, you know that uh, that the left in Croatia is trying to create uh, infrastructure. So basically, uh, today when we, when we had uh, this uh, meeting with uh, people from uh, Transform uh, Serbia, from uh, um, from um, uh, Bulgaria and various other countries, I noticed one one thing which didn't cross my mind for the last like couple of of, of, of uh, months. Uh, I mean, before I before I came here, I got kind of depressed, you know, at that time when you think that uh, things are going too slow and you know you make two steps forward and one step back, and it's always like that in in organizing. And then I noticed that everyone was speaking about how new the left movement uh, in the region is, and that's like uh, that's something that you know uh, that I realized today how young actually the organizations that uh, that that are here uh, are, and in in that sense how much we've accomplished in only you know five six or seven years of existence so i'm actually much more optimistic now and thank you for uh, you know for this meeting uh, today um so basically in croatia uh, it the, the trajectory of of building left infrastructure is i would say similar to serbia slovenia and other countries um, in the region so the fact was that there was no infrastructure left in the desert of post-socialism and that, you know, we were also connected, I'm talking about the new left in Croatia, to, to a student uh, movement. Uh, so during the, the first occupation in 2009, um, I remember at that time, um, I was like uh, second year in uh, college uh, studying French and uh, like not know, knowing much about uh, politics except for reading and, and trying to get involved. And the student movement actually in that political space, which was completely devoid of uh, of um, uh, of any uh, socialist uh, uh, alternatives or talk about socialist alternatives fill that space and actually allowed uh, uh, the new people to come uh, to that movement so i remember the occupation and many other people in croatia will say it to be like that turning point of uh, of new wave of activism which is based on um, on uh, social uh, social issues so at the time we tried to connect with uh, you know workers uh, workers struggle try to uh, connect with labor um, uh, with, with labor uh, collectives and uh, after after the uh, end of occupation and after the student movement we also did a series of protests and what we noticed at the time i remember there was this also a period of uh, disillusionment with the fact that we w weren't able to uh, stabilize uh, our political activities there was no um, like um, there, there were, you couldn't you could only create like we did a lot of pro protests we did a lot of uh, you know uh, actions but afterwards there, there wasn't any permanent type of organization that would you know follow follow the the action so we, we kind of engaged in that uh, um, in, in, an, in an attempt to create a more stable infrastructure, and uh, from that, uh, from that point on, um, a lot of group, were, uh, a lot. I mean, a few uh, groups on the left were created. The, what what uh, Luca said today during the meeting, uh, the left organizations uh, were created mostly in the sector of, of in media sector. On the one hand, a theoretical production, uh, group that that with theoretical production, and also. The group I belong to that worked with the trade unions and more, were more uh, field-based. Um, so um, I don't think that you know that um, sometimes we talk about um, these groups like a fragmentation on the left, but I don't consider it actually a fragmentation because uh, when you think about that, a couple of years ago there was no uh, like like left intellectuals uh, in academia. Uh, no left thought uh, that in sectors, for example, edu sector of education, any sector of economy uh, as well, there, there, there were, was devoid of any kind of uh, 
uh, of uh, cadres or, or politics that you could rely on for pr producing uh, socialist authority. So, so I think of it not as a fragmentation, but actually as a spreading in the in the in you know the initial uh, the initial stages of, of development of, uh, of of the left. And of course, you know there are various groups uh, which um, do not uh, completely agree with each other in 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 this aspect. But I think that. There is this really, uh, I would say, a healthy level of uh, collaboration and uh, sharing of both like uh, knowledge and uh, participating in each other activities that is uh, supporting uh, different groups uh, in Croatia to, to develop uh, further. So that's you know my, my view on fragmentation on um, on the web, because I think that at this point in time we cannot expect to have a really a strong, uh, one strong political agent because there are so many uh, sectors of society we have to um, uh, be present at. Um, so basically uh, what my organization tried to do is to connect with trade unions and uh, other, uh, for example, civil society organizations, initiatives, uh, um, to create a pl a political platforms that would, uh, from concrete angle, try to uh, tackle uh, like political issues. For example, the issues of pri privatization, uh, the issues of uh, dissolution of welfare state, etc. Et so we have um, a couple of sectors we are dealing with, like research, where we try to you know fill that uh, fill that um, void of uh, alternative policies on social issues, um, education, like uh, education school with trade unions. Um, uh, on, on, on the issues of democracy, feminism, um, etc. Media work and also field work where we, where we volunteer and uh, also work within uh, trade unions. So our goal in that, in that sphere of the, of, the, of the left in Croatia, our place is to kind of bring trade unions back as, um, as political uh, agents. Uh, that would mean, since you know, in, in, in the context of Croatia, trade unions have been in the context of the region, but also I think uh, on, on the European level as well, uh, apolitical in a, in a sense that they've been dealing with the narrow sphere of of, uh, of defending workers' rights at work, at workplace level, but were uh, not involved in in tackling uh, social issues that that were you know further away from the workplace, such as issues uh, as, as I mentioned um, of of, uh, of for, for example privatization. So what we try to do is, uh, you know, to to work with them to to make them, you know, not not to make them, but on on a, on a basis of equality, collaboration to to do these issues together. Um, uh, so um, uh, in a way, I mean, uh, uh, considering the importance of trade unions, what I think is that trade unions have enormous infrastructure. Uh, have uh, uh, access to, to membership which the, the, the left uh, needs and uh, also have a lot of funding which is not uh, uh, used to, to a full extent or I mean okay from my perspective so uh, uh, basically uh, so we, we do a lot of work with them and I would not like to talk about it now because you know we can uh, you know if, if somebody is interested or there, there are a lot of opportunities to talk about that, but I'm, I, I would just like to mention one thing because uh, Helena also t uh, spoke about uh, creating uh, wider um, uh, like uh, political platforms, and we are we have also experience um, in that in, in campaigning. Uh, for example, the last campaign we did was the campaign on privatization of of, of highways um, against the privatization of highways in. Croatia that we did with uh, seven trade unions and seven uh, uh, civil society organizations from the field of culture, uh, field of human rights, field of workers' rights, uh, really uh, even peace organizations and various tra trade unions. So it was like, a, it was not a rainbow co coalition, which uh, some people think that it was like a political platform that was uh, gathered around a common denominator and uh, a common denominator that politicized all the uh, all the actors uh, involved and that was you know a, a struggle against privatization and for for common goods which we considered uh, the infrastructure of creation of highways uh, to be so we use, we use this campaigning not only um, uh, like a single issue thing but uh, i think that can be also a way on, of putting left agenda in place on con concrete issues such as the privatization of highways and um, these large coalitions can create more capacities for the left to spread in other sectors and also to gain uh, uh, new um, new members of course and uh, you know the, the thing that uh, 
like one, one thing that is important is that these campaigns can be sort of a way to test our knowledge uh, and our capacities that we've already uh, already built building for uh, um, for a couple of years. For for example, we didn't campaign on healthcare issues, although uh, the healthcare in Croatia is uh, the healthcare issues are really urgent uh, in uh, Croatia, and we will be when we have the capacities. But you know, in a, in a way, to test the knowledge means that we've been working with all those uh, organizations, especially road uh, road workers trade unions, and we noticed that our capacities in that way can reach you know mainstream and can accomplish the goal. So, in 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 terms of organizing, I think that uh, it is necessary to establish you know um, what are your capacities and uh, you know your limits to limits and also possibilities to 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 make uh, to make change. So uh, basically. Uh, that's it uh, in, in terms of uh, in terms of campaigning we plan to uh, to you know further pro pro progress with uh, doing with doing work with this and other various uh, various political um, political platforms of course the problem is that and i think it's a, it's a, it's a fair critique to say okay but uh, you know these type of platforms don't have a firm political uh, program um, like uh, they are uh, you know they are uh, Consisting of various uh, actors there, but okay, all of that is uh, all of that is true. I think that the common denominator is bringing all the actors, politicizing them and bringing them, bringing them more more together. And that also at this stage, uh, there cannot be, there is no capacity to have that such such a strong uh, one actor on um, uh, on on the left. So um, so basically that's it. I have also uh, wrote that I will talk something about uh, funding, but. Uh, Maybe to keep an optimistic tone, I will just uh, <laughs> leave that for later.